problem from gate physics 2019 reads as follows consider the following boolean expression a bar plus b bar times a into b plus c whole bar plus a times b bar plus c bar the question says it can be represented by a single three input logic gate identify the gate the options are and or xor or nand this is this is a multiple choice question with one correct answer and we need to find the correct one now let, let, let let's look at the question uh, carefully once more so it's saying that this boolean expression let me assume this is y so this whole boolean expression can be represented by a single gate so this means this can be simplified to just one single expression which contains and which is a, and which in turn can be represented by just one single three input logic gate this implies that this if it's and it will come out to be abc if it's or it come out to be a plus b plus c this whole expression will simplify to either of these if it's xor it will come out to be a xor b xor c and if it's nand it will come out to be a b c whole bar so we first will simplify this expression and we'll try to find out which one of the following it matches so this is the expression that we were given and we need we'll just try to simplify it for now okay so let me write it as now what i'll do is that i'll take the first term as it is and apply de morgan's law in the inner bracket so if we know that de morgan's law is ab okay or i should say xy whole bar equal to x bar plus y bar so let's implement this on this inner square bracket so what we'll get is so x is a here so this is let's say x and this is y so what we'll get is we know x y whole bar is x bar plus y bar so i'll get a bar plus b plus c whole bar so let's copy this term the second term again this term will remain the same and now i can now apply second de morgan's law which is x plus y whole bar is equal to x bar times y bar so i'll assume that this b plus c whole bar look, look at it's the form of x plus y whole bar so i can write it as simply b bar c bar plus a times b bar plus c bar now let's multiply the term so i'll get a bar times a bar so i'll i'm writing that a bar plus a bar then b bar times a bar plus a bar b bar c bar plus b bar times b bar c bar plus a b bar plus a c bar now note this first term a bar dot a bar in in boolean algebra x dot x is equal to x because if 0 into 0 will come out to be 0 and 1 into 1 will come out to be 1 hence i can write a bar dot a bar equal to a bar plus i i'll just rearrange this term so as for the sake of simplicity plus a bar b bar c bar again b bar dot b bar will be using this expression i can write b bar dot b bar will be nothing but b bar dot c bar for this term c bar plus a b bar plus a c bar now um now let's have a look at yeah this expression uh note that just take so i'll bring this term here first okay so i'll write a bar plus a bar b bar c bar so let's so i have just brought this term here plus again uh let me just combine this term and this term okay so i'll write a bar b bar plus a b bar second bracket plus this this these terms remain the same b bar c bar plus a c bar right now i can take a bar common from these terms right it will be 1 plus b bar c bar similarly i can take b bar common from this it will be a bar plus a plus b bar c bar plus a c bar now 1 plus anything would always be 1 so so even if this term is 0 or 1 it's irrelevant because 1 plus 0 is also 1 and 1 plus 1 is also 1 so i can neglect this second term so this will turn out to be a bar times 1 plus b bar now a bar plus a 
so let's say a bar plus a is nothing but one because let's say let's take the case when a is equal to zero so when a is zero it will be zero bar plus zero which is equal to one plus zero which is equal to one or when a is one so it will be one bar plus one which is zero plus one which is again equal to one so a bar plus a will always be equal to one so i'll write b bar dot one this term plus b bar c bar plus a c bar anything into one will be one so it will be a bar plus b bar plus b bar c bar plus a c bar now look at these two terms i can take b bar common again so it will be a bar plus b bar into one plus c bar plus a c bar now this will come a bar plus again one plus something is nothing but uh, is the is one itself so a plus b bar plus a c bar note that in the previous slide we had obtained uh, this expression we simplified y to up to this level now let's simplify it even further let me just take uh, b bar as the first term and i'll write a bar plus a c bar now according to distributive law in boolean algebra you can write as x plus y z is equal to x plus y times x plus z so, so now let's just take this term and let's say a bar is x a is y and c bar is z so i can apply this distributive law over this square bracket so my expression y will come out to be b plus square brackets it says x plus y so what is the value of x it's a bar plus y the value of y is a times x plus z so what is x x is a bar plus z what is z z is c bar so, sorry this is b bar so it will be b bar plus now a bar plus a we have already noticed that it's one this will turn out to be a bar plus c bar so one into a bar plus c bar is nothing but a bar plus c bar and i can just rearrange the terms and write a bar plus b bar plus c bar if we again apply de morgan's theorem it will come out to be a b c whole bar now that for two for two variables the de morgan's theorem is x y whole bar is x bar plus y bar for three variables it remains the flow remains the same x bar plus y bar plus z bar so r form was a bar plus b bar plus c bar and if you compare with this then we can write as a b c whole bar now this is this is what what's happening here we are adding the three inputs and then taking an inverter this is nothing but a nand gate and hence the correct option is d nand thank you for listening